Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative and educative session from Fortis Hospital, Bangalore. Today, we have with us Dr. Raghu Nagraj, who is a renowned sports medicine specialist and who has treated many elite national and international athletes successfully. He has to his credit, so he has performed 6,000 ACL surgeries and he has a vast experience of 15 years in sports field. We are here to discuss a condition called ACL tear in knee joints and which is very common in sports person. Sir, so what is ACL tear and how common is it? Yeah, thank you for uh, a nice warm introduction uh, Jayanti. So it's a very good uh, question because we're talking about ACL tear uh, as, as we know ACL tear is one of the most common injury that is uh, affecting many sports people worldwide. And in fact, ACL tear is the second most common injury to any sports person. I'll tell you about the ACL. ACL is the one of the most important ligament of the knee joint. So this is the knee joint and this is the thigh bone on the top and this is the leg bone below. So between the two bones, we have two important ligaments. One in the front called ACL. In short form, we call ACL, but the full form it's called anterior cruciate ligament and one on the back side called PCL, posterior cruciate ligament. Generally, what we see in our day-to-day -day practice is this ACL tear. So, we are going to discuss about the ACL tear in detail today. So, ACL tear generally happens among sports person due to sports injuries. It can be either due to a collision when two athletes come and collide against each other like in a soccer or a kabaddi player or it can happen due to non-contact injury. Non-contact means suppose if the athlete is running and if it suddenly loses balance and his foot gets stuck in one position and the body moves in the other direction that twisting mode of injury results in ACL tear. So it can happen either due to collision or non-collision injuries and it's very common in any sports injury injuries as I said earlier that it is the second most common injury after ankle injuries. In fact all over the world more than 2 million ACL surgeries are done every year. So that's why it's very important to know what is ACL tear and why it's important to get it treated. Sir, is it important to get treated for these ACL injuries? Yes, it is very very important to address this ACL injury. Why? Because so whenever uh, ACL tear happens in any sports person, the first thing that happens is there will be a lot of pain and swelling in the knee joint. So generally an athlete cannot proceed with his sports activities. He has to stop that particular sports activity. So usually the pain and swelling will be there for a couple of days. But after a few days the pain and swelling both will come down and the athlete starts feeling better. But after some time when the pain and swelling settles down, when that particular uh, sports person starts getting back to his uh, uh, sports activities like running or jumping or any twisting movements, then the knee will start losing balance. So whenever the knee loses balance, the bones rub against each other and cause more and more damages. So what happens in ACL tear is, in our knee joint, apart from the ACL, we have two important cushion inside the knee joint, what we call meniscus, which basically acts like a shock absorber. So whenever there is an ACL tear, the knee is not stable in turning movements or landing movements. So whenever a person does those movements with the ACL tear, the knee loses balance and results in further damages like meniscus tear and a cartilage damage. Cartilage is a smooth lining on our bones. So whenever this damage keeps happening again and again, the knee will result in further damages and they develop arthritis eventually. Of course, it will take some years to develop that arthritis, but in the, the short period of time after the ACL tear that results in meniscus and the cartilage damages which will give lot of pain, locking, clicking sounds and eventually the, the particular person loses confidence on the knee which has an ACL tear. So he will start loading more weight on the opposite knee and that knee also starts hurting. That's the reason why ACL is very important especially in young active individuals who are into regular activities like uh, you know taking part in the sports or going for a trekking or hiking in for that matter even a recreational sports is also very important and ACL should be treated even in those individuals also. Okay. 
so how is it getting treated like uh, which are the like you know the uh, categories of people who needs this acl surgeries yes so that's one of the common question that generally people ask because most of the people think that the moment there is an acl tear they should undergo surgery but that's not actually true so a lot of persons come with a condition called partial acl tear that means there will be some part of the ligament which will be still intact but some part of will be torn so in those kind of individuals with a partial acl tear we generally don't recommend surgical option because those people can recover very well with the physiotherapy rehabilitation and they can manage to they get to get back to their physical activities only if in spite of doing physiotherapy for certain period of time like 2 or 3 months but still they don't feel confident about their knee on the those patients we opt for a acl reconstruction and in certain individuals who are like uh, patients more than 50 years old and in those who don't have an active physical lifestyle for them also acl tear is not treated surgically for them we just put them on physiotherapy and rehabilitation and they eventually recover from that acute phase and slowly they can get back to their normal lifestyle yes in young individuals who are very active and who are into active sports both professional level and recreational level those patients definitely we treat them as the uh they they need to get back to their lifestyle active lifestyle so in those cases surgery is definitely considered as the first option and if the patients come early then there is an option of doing an acl repair that means stitching their own ligament back suppose if they come little late then we have to do what is known as an acl reconstruction technique which i'll be telling in detail later okay so since we have known about much about the acl surgery and the injuries now the most common thing about the people is the fear of the yes. complications yes. so any complications with as acl surgeries uh see if you mention about uh, talking about any surgery then definitely there are always some complications associated with any surgery but this particular surgery what is called acl surgery is done through an arthroscopic method that means we are not going to cut or open any tissues the entire surgery is done with a two small tiny keyhole uh, so we pass a camera which will be like a pen size or on 4 mm in size once the camera goes inside the knee the whole thing will be seen on the tv so looking in the tv what we do is because most of the acl patients will have an associated meniscus tears along with that so first we take care of the meniscus we repair the meniscus and preserve the meniscus as much as possible because just like acl even the meniscus is also an equally important tissue so we should try and preserve the meniscus by doing the meniscus repair so after we do the meniscus repair then we'll come to the acl so in the place of that virginal acl tissue if the injury is very acute and there's a particular condition called as a peel off lesion that means the whole acl would be just peeled off from the bone in those cases and if the person or the patient presents early like less than 3 to 6 weeks period of time then we can stitch their own tissue back into it that is called acl repair primary acl repair but in practical uh, scenario a lot of patients comes always late so in those patients we can't do this acl repair so we undertake what is called as an acl reconstruction that means we take a graft from the other part of the body generally it is below the knee which is called hamstring graft this is a very strong tissue and they generally regrow by itself so we take the tissue prepare it as a graft and pass it between the two bones and fix it with a small tiny clips which are made up of titanium material and sometimes we use a self absorbable material also so this entire surgery is done with an arthroscopic method so when we are doing with an arthroscopic technique the complication rates are almost close to nil there there can be some incidences where a minor infection can happen and a joint stiffness can happen and uh, if the patient is obese there are other complications which is associated with anesthesia or with the overweight but all the complication rates are very close to nil as it is an arthroscopic surgery unlike open surgery this technique is very simple and it's a uh, faster recovery and generally patient is made to walk very next day of course if the patient has some other comorbidities like overweight or any other comorbidities like diabetes hypertension or any of patients or any blood thinner we take care of all those precautions first and then only we take them for surgery so that we can reduce the complication rates to almost nil
Okay. That's really, you know, in detail you have explained, sir. So, my next question is, like, since we have come across the sports person, if this is a commonest, uh, you know, uh, injury which is happening, so can the person after the ACL uh, reconstruction or the surgery, can he go back to the sports? Oh, yes. It's one of the very good, important question. So, generally, a lot of my patients ask that whether they can get back to sports or not after this ACL surgery. Yes, they can surely get back to their complete pre-injury level of sports. In fact, they can even get back to their pre-injury level of performance on field also. Because ACL is one of the most successful surgeries done all over the world. So, I'll talk about the how the patient recovers after surgery. So, once we perform this arthroscopic ACL reconstruction procedure, depending on the associated damages like meniscus repair or the cartilage uh, treatment, we put them on rehabilitation very next day. Generally, for most of the patients, they will be able to start bending their knee very next day. They'll be able to start walking with the walker without any, you know, a very next day after the surgery. Generally, it takes 10 days to 2 weeks time for the patient to start walking without any support unless they have uh, other associated damages like I said meniscus and the cartilage. In those cases we delay the weight bearing process to close to one month but generally over a period of one month majority of the patients should be able to walk normally without any support should have regained a good knee bending and also their muscle strength. After one month of this initial uh, rehabilitation once the patient is back to their normal day-to-day -day life, then we will put them on an aggressive strengthening rehabilitation protocol where they will be made to do an intense strengthening exercises to build their quadriceps and hamstrings muscle. So generally when we do this orthoscopic ACL reconstruction procedure, patient will be able to get back to their running and jogging, cycling, swimming activities in two to three months period of time. And after that, we will put them on a proper conditioning exercises to improve their reflexes and to improve their neuromuscular coordination, their balancing should improve. So once all these criteria are met, we will allow them to get back to their sports by 6 to 8, eight months period of time. Generally, initially they will be uh, made to do the recreational sports or a practice matches. To get back to a professional level of matches, generally it takes around 9 to 11 months period of time after this orthoscopic ACL reconstruction. But nowadays we have started doing a new advanced technique called orthoscopic all inside ACL reconstruction with hamstrings and internal brace. Why I'm mentioning about this particular technique is it's one of the latest advanced technique and this technique has a lot of advantages compared to the conventional ACL reconstruction technique. In this technique, apart from this uh, hamstrings, we also use a fiber tape which is a synthetic material which will be like a tape, 3 mm tape. But this tape is very very strong and it will protect the natural graft. So it's very easy for the patient to recover early from the surgery. And when we are making the tunnel to pass the new ligament, in old uh, technique, we do the tunnel through and through the bone. But in all inside technique, the, it's like a socket keeping the outer part of the bone intact. So this has a very minimum pain and swelling after the surgery. So patient can start walking very next day, they can start bending the knee very next day. So they can regain the basic knee function very quickly, like in 10 to 15 days period of time. So they can get back to their office in two weeks time. In fact, they can even start driving their car, riding their bike in two weeks time. So this has this advantage of getting the patient back onto the field very quickly. So in all inside orthoscopic ACL reconstruction technique, patient can get back to this sports in four to six months period only. But yes, we have to assess the particular sports person which particular sports they are into and what level of competence they are in whether it's a national state or international level and also whether the type of sports they are involved in is a collision sports like a football or a kabaddi or a non-collision sports like a badminton or a tennis so depending on their particular type of sports they are involved in so we will decide when they can return to sports so football players are generally uh, allowed to go back to their 
professional matches little late like close to 9 months or 11 months but a non collision sports person like a badminton player or a tennis player they can return back to their sports quite quickly like close to 4 to 6 months period of time so we have to assess each and every individual their biology what they have or what how much muscle strength they have and also the particular type of sports they are into and what level of competence they are in so all these factors does play a role in deciding the time when they can return to sports but yes all patients who undergo ccl reconstruction if it is done in a precise way they can definitely return back to their sports completely sir now we have spoken like you know it is very important to get treated but how earliest as the person has to come to the orthopedics you know the sports specialist Yeah. Yes. Uh, see, we have a, 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 some signs which are very typical of an ACL tear. Suppose if the patient uh, had a fall and has twisted his knee, if they have heard a pop sound or a something giving away sound, that's a very definitive sign of ACL tear. And also, if they have immediate pain and swelling following the injury, that's an another sign of uh, uh, showing the significance that ACL could have been torn. If the patient starts losing balance, that's what we call the instability symptoms, especially when they take sudden turns or when they walk on uneven surfaces, they lose balance. So those are all the signs and symptoms when the patient should realize that they have a ACL tear, and that's when they should reach out to the sports physician, because. untreated acl tear has got lot of bad consequences like uh, further damages in terms of meniscus damages cartilage damages which eventually leads to arthritis so that's the reason why when the patient has one of these symptoms like uh, a pop sound after the injury and a giving away sensation when they make then they do turning movements or when they have a tremendous pain and swelling immediately following the injury they should reach out to a sports physician at the earliest Thank you so that was very informative indeed Thank you thank you everyone